Hi, Halstead. It's Miss Hurry back again with another problem of the day. Um, I really enjoyed hearing all the responses from all my little babies um, who took the time to um, watch the previous video and answer the question. Um, I did get some feedback that the comments below are not working. Um, unfortunately, we can't change that. So um, you can just continue to send me your responses through um, class tag or communication um, so that we can continue to do this learning because I really enjoy hearing your responses. Okay, so before we get into our new problem of the day, I figured that we would go over yesterday's problem and I could give some strategies um, to help solve it. Um, many of my first grade friends said that they use their fingers to solve the problem. I'm hoping that that means that they use the counting on strategy and they put a number in their head and then they counted on the rest. So for example, saying Levi has seven, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. To get a total of 12 all together. Um, I'm going to show a couple different strategies that you could have used um, to solve the problem. So I'm going to start with the seven stones that Levi had and I'm going to be combining it um, with Emma's five because we know that we want to know how many there are all together, which means that our number should be getting larger. So I'm going to start at seven and I'm going to hop on five more. One, two, three, four, five, to show that we have a total of 12. And I can show that in an equation by saying, Levi has seven <coughs> stones um, plus the five stones that Emma had gives us a total of 12 stones altogether. Another strategy could be through using um, a 20 chart. So um, a tens frame um, would just be one of them, but because we're using two of them, it's now called a 20 frame. So I could show Emma's five with the red. And then I could show um, Levi's seven. This is a lot more challenging to do over a computer than it would be in person. I would much rather be in the classroom with you guys. Okay, so if we wanted to put this into an equation, um, we could do it like this. So we could say Emma had five stones plus the seven stones that were Levi's gives us a total of 12 stones. Um, in our classroom, we kind of like to turn our equations into a story problem. So um, we would read it as Emma um, had five stones and Levi had seven more stones, which is the same as 12 stones all together. Um, but many of you may have also saw um, a different equation through looking at the 20 frame. Some of you may have said, hmm, I know that this tens frame is full, so that is a total of 10. So I can say 10 plus the two from down below um, is the same as 12 as well. So there are lots of different ways that you could have looked at this problem to solve it. Okay, so on to our new problem of the day. Today's problem is going to be a little bit more challenging than yesterday's. Instead of using two add ends or numbers, we're gonna be using three. So here's our problem. Major, Chase, and Jaden were playing basketball. Major scored six baskets, Chase scored five baskets, and Jaden scored four baskets. How many baskets did the boys score in all? I want you to be more creative when you're finding your answers. You could use one of the strategies that we talked about today. Number lines or 20 frames. You could use manipulatives that you found around your house. Remember, those can be anything. Goldfish, blocks, coins, pretty much anything. You can also just draw a picture to solve. Don't forget to be specific on how you got your answers and be sure to include the equation. I look forward to hearing from from you, and I look forward to seeing your answers. Bye.